Hello, hello, this is Niara Nightsong, and you are watching another Star Trek Online and Chill stream, as I like to call it, uh, where I'm going to be floating around in space and getting up to various shenanigans. Um, this is the first time in a little while that I'm doing one of these where I'm not on a particular um, fixed mission. Um, for the last, like, probably, I don't know, a dozen streams or so, uh, I've been on kind of a fixed uh, story arc um, where I've been working through uh, a couple different uh, episodes, like uh, arcs uh, that I that I either haven't done yet um, or you know uh, had only partially completed. Um, and those are all wrapped up for now, at least until they make more content for those particular arcs. So uh, I'm free to move on to something else. Um, so I figured for today, uh, I will just start it off with some like freeform, um, I don't know, gallivanting <laughs> uh, through the stars. We'll just like, you know, there's some daily quests and that kind of stuff uh, that would be nice to get done. So like, I usually have a lot of fun just going around, like, getting up to shenanigans. That's usually where, like, a lot of randomness and, like, silly stuff happens. So I figured it would be a, it would be a fun time just to, like, go around and see what, see what adventures just naturally happen. Um, and then if that, if that gets dull after a while, then uh, we'll start up a new arc of of missions um and i don't know which which storyline that will be i'm thinking maybe just start from the beginning and i think that's like the some um, klingon stuff i'm not really sure um it's something that i haven't done in like many years uh so i don't really have any memory of it so it'll be an adventure uh regardless so whatevs that's that's the plan as it stands and uh, I think I'm caught up with all of the social stuff so I'm gonna get off of my phone and get into the game so let's get out of actually let's see what the what the daily missions are we need to defend Reho station we need to do shield healing on the ground we need to do some Borg cues and we need to harvest some crafting materials in space Okay, that's a good variety. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna be right back real quick. I need to check on something. A couple of red flags here. I just will be right back. Okie dokie. I am back. That didn't take but a moment. Uh, so let me just get back into the game and we will just queue for that, that defend Reho station or whatever it was. Uh, why can't I read? Oh, it's a ground battle? I'm not familiar with this. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. I haven't done this in years. Alachi are attacking... Rishlo Station. Grab a flashlight and take them down. Oh, that was like instant. Oh, it's the universal mission. Everyone has to do this. So, yeah, it makes sense. Everyone's queuing for it because everyone's got to do it. Okay. Well, this will be fun.
I guess someone's not clicking accept because, you know, it said it was ready, but we're not loading into it yet. That's too bad. Come on, I want to do the battle. I was excited for it. I turned my chair, my gaming chair's back massager on. Let me know if you guys can hear it buzzing. I don't want to be, I don't want to annoy you guys with it. Because, you know, I'm old and my back always hurts. That's just the reality of life. Okay, the battle's finally loading. The Alachi have been attacking and abducting people from the station. I'm short-handed now and we have some serious power issues. Give me a hand by keeping the Alachi from doing anything while I try to get the power system stable. Okay. Sure thing. I got a flashlight, and I got a gun. I'm, I'm ready for this. You know what? I would prefer to use a shotgun for this. Seems more like a shotgun kind of mission. Oh, no map on this. Just static. Why am I having lag? This is n not appropriate time for lag. I hate those days. Oh my god, it's gonna be one of those days. Holy shit, this is a new level. This is just absolutely intolerable. This is like 2004 level. Oh my Jesus. Am I gonna be able to move at some point? There would appear to be no. These kinds of problems are frustrating, especially when you have no idea what causes them and they happen, you know, seemingly out of the blue. And then all of a sudden, see, it just disappears. It's like, what? 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 Okay, uh, let's just switch to the sniper rifle. It's not going to be as close range as I thought. I'm in the battle now. I'll just try to forget that that whole incident happened. Okay. Um. Whoa! What the fuck? Something just jumped on my face. There's face huggers in here. Crazy.
Ew. Gross. You know, I should turn my uh, UI volume down so it's not as annoying when I'm uh, making it a uh... gig. Yeah, that's better. So I press the shoot button a lot of times when I'm not able to shoot something. I'm just checking if there's any targets around for me to shoot and it's going bing 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 bing. It's always just going bing 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 because I'm just running around pressing shoot 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 looking around seeing if there's something I can shoot. My people aren't responding. You guys are just hearing that the whole time I presume. And they're abducting the repair teams. Get out there and stop them. Okay. So now we need to rescue engineers. Fair thing. is an engineer. I'm gonna rescue you. You're rescued. You're welcome. You're, you're rescued. Courtesy of Starfleet. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes here. I'm gonna need to call in some backup. Are you an engineer? Yeah, you are. You're rescued. That's, uh, I already got two out of six, and the rest of the team did some. We got five out of six in total. We got that. I need to speak with you in damage control. Because we're so good. Our power problems are under control, but there's an Elachi force in main engineering trying to sabotage our Singularity Core. Take them out. Okay. No problem. What? Did I get... I'm disoriented. I'm all... Confused where I am. Where it is how does get it to engineering? Ah, get off of me. Which way is to engineering? Man, which way is engineering at? I don't know how to get there. God damn. This place is a jungle gym. Oh, we're done apparently. Okay, bye. Get off of me. We'll see ya. I guess the rest of the team did it crazy fast. In like 10 seconds. That's nice for them. Well, I got my rewards at least. That's cool. Oh. Okay. Wait. So what's next? Um Probably Borg Borg cues. Cause we gotta do two of them. 
And it's also a thing where we don't have to go anywhere for it. We don't have to go anywhere for it. Let's see what we can get into. I don't want to do the same ones I always do though. If I can avoid doing the same ones I do every stream, that will be better for me. Even if I'm getting out of my comfort zone a little bit, that might be good for me. But some of these really suck, that's the thing. Some of these just really suck. And that's why I don't do them, they just suck really bad. You know, they're just not good. We'll do Hive Onslaught. How about that? I don't do that one very often. Almost never. Here we go. Defeat the Borg ships guarding the Queen. Resistance is futile. We'll see about that. Big old cube. Big, big, big old, big old, big old cube. Oh, where's my shield gone? Oh, my hull. Oh, my hull. Oh, God. No, I need that to live. No, 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 though. No, I need this. I... Oh, gosh. Give it back to me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I exploded. Oh, no. I exploded. That's not ideal. We aim to avoid that, generally. Oh, that's not great. We exploded. I'm not the only one. In fairness, two other guys exploded as well, just to make myself feel a little better. But, no, we don't want to explode ever. That's, that's really something we don't want to do. We don't like exploding. We try not to do that. Cause like, everybody's gotta get off the ship. Everybody's gotta beam over to the other ship. 
Everybody's got to get on escape pods. It's a whole thing. They have to get a new ship. It's a pain in the ass. It's a big problem. It's expensive. It's a waste of time. It's a failure. It's a problem. Okay, though. I like that we're not a crazy. We're not a. Every sh every drum we're not a. With my voice. We're not a crazy overpowered group. We're actually like everyone in the group is taking shield damage. We're taking hull damage. We're fighting for it. We're taking time to cut through these guys. It's a fair battle. It's actually we're working for this. It's very nice. It's refreshing. I hate it when everyone's just like poo, 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 and it's all gone and like you barely get a chance to even fight for it. I hate that actually. So I kind of love this. I'm the best I can to repair my teammates and keep them alive too. It's kind of what my ship's set up to do. I'm supposed to be a support. Getting through this. left before we get to take out the queen. A massive energy buildup! We are the Bulwark. They're preparing to fire lance weapons! All draw their fire! Get under their guns! Resistance is futile. Yikes. That always sucks to see. Okay, 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 let's turn the ship around. We're out of control here. We need to get way closer than this. This is a mess.
Your efforts are futile. Now the queen is and I will claim another. That's it. And that is one out of two Borg views. Okie dokie, so that leaves one more, and I don't know what it's going to be. Again, maybe something I haven't done in a long time. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to... Whatever. I know I'm gonna be like a fool in these because I don't do them and I'm not gonna know what to do because I haven't done them in so long but whatever you gotta take chances sometimes Hey there, uh, Jazzy Cat uh, XOX. Uh, thanks so much for coming by with your raiding party. How's it going? How are you? How you doing? Now, I don't know what the wait times are gonna be like for those. I don't know how obscure those are. So I should probably start heading to the next thing that we're going to get up to in the meantime. Which is having problems. That's good to know. Huh. I'm going to have to check that out when I wrap up my stream for the day. Thanks so much for the follow as well, Jazzy Cat. I appreciate that. I'll have to return the gesture. Mwah. Okay, so where the hell do I need to go? Uh, somewhere where I can harvest the materials. So, like... I don't know, some patrol missions or something would be fine. I need to get up to something where I can just 
happen upon some crafting materials. So maybe, maybe we go and help the Geckly. Hey, what's wrong with my sh projectile launcher damage? That's kind of funny considering I don't have any projectile- I don't have any torpedo launchers on my ship, but... But okay, no problem. I'll repair it anyway. For the launchers that we don't have. We can just pretend we have them. So we're going to Glorndon Core, and I'm also gonna maybe, I don't know, queue for something else. Just to increase the chances that something, that something will pop. Ah, uh, you play STO as well? Awesome. Are you, uh, primary- like, what- uh, what do you primarily stream? Are- are you, like, an STO streamer? Or- or is it not your main thing? Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's base materials that I need today. I'd be a little more excited about ground materials. I feel like that would be just a little more fun, but... Uh, space materials, so I'll probably just get them from the Romulan patrol missions. And I figure, like, the Geckly is just like a- it's the most gimmicky mission I can go and get them from. They're like little space raviolis, it's cute to, like, fly around with them, so it could be- it could be the- the way to do it. That and maybe a- a couple other of the little patrol missions. Ah, so you, you're definitely mainly a STO streamer. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, space is big. Can we hurry up, please? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. The queue popped at the same time, so I guess we're not gonna help the Gickleys right now. I uh, gotta love playing Space Barbie. That's, yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the most fun things. <laughs> that's one of the most fun things. Hey there, Optimus Dan. Thanks for coming by. How's it going today? How you doing? Are we gonna get in the queue, or was it just a tease? Oh, it was not just- Ah, oh, I'm hashtag triggered seeing Quiton! Seeing his face after he yelled at me. I don't like him anymore. Transwarp conduits in this system, along with a stable spatial rift, which is emitting chroniton particles. The Borg have been known to use time travel. In 2373, the USS Enterprise E followed a Borg cube through such a rift to Earth's first contact with the Vulcans. My grandfather was there. He said it was memorable. So, this could be another attempt by the Borg to alter the past. I see. The spatial rift will require further study before we can shut it down. 
Until then, our best option is to neutralize the transwarp conduits in order to stem the flow of Borg into the system. The conduits are protected by nanite transformers. I don't think I've ever been Those here before. are protected by nanite generators. Eliminating the generators first will allow us to destroy the transformers. Only then will the conduits be vulnerable. Understood, Admiral. The are sure to send reinforcements. The to use the okay, see ya. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins, let's go. Someone in here has the same ship as me. Oh, Optimus Dan, I don't mean that I really met- I don't mean that I met real Wheaton. Just to clarify, I just so we're not spreading false rumors about the man. I don't mean that I met Will Wheaton and he yelled at me. I mean that I played the mission where you meet Mere Universe, uh, uh, uh Emperor Crusher or whatever and he yelled at me and it made me very sad and I was uh, really upset and I don't like that and it upset me and uh, I am sad about it. That's all. That's what I mean. I got I got pretty pretty hurt by that and I don't like it when men yell at me in, in video games or in real life. Ugh, it was on stream too, and I was like so visibly sad after that, I just like ruined the whole vibe, ah. I was so embarrassed about that. Star Trek Online was a safe space. I thought everyone was gonna be. I thought all the NPCs would be nice to me in this game. I thought these were my friends. I thought these were all my friends from TV. Failed. It says mission failed over here. That's weird. It doesn't feel like the mission failed. I think. I don't think we failed the mission. I think we. I think we are succeeding at the mission, actually. I don't know what the mission is, but I feel pretty good about it. Not knowing what the mission is, I would say we're we're killing it. We're we're I would say that we ten out of ten ace the mission. Just not knowing what it is, hundred percent we did the mission great. Oh, where's my shields gone to? We need some of those. Get those shields back. Where's the shields at, my guy? Come on, get them. Okay, now what? Picking up some strange readings. Attempting to compensate. Stand by. Something is decloaking. Scanning now. Okay. The configuration resembles Romulan scimitar. 
reading a high level of Borg technology. The energy output is off the chart. <laughs> this is how plays Star Trek. Kill everything first, ask questions later. Nice. I know the Romulans have experimented with Borg technology, but they haven't been able to create anything like this. Incoming hail. The unidentified vessel. Oh, dude, though. There's a battle going on over there. We can't have a conference right now. Oh man, I'm missing the fight, my guy. Come on. Your defensive capabilities are unable to withstand. I missed the whole fight. Thanks a lot. You green bitch. You made me miss the whole battle. Okay. Oh, you keep turning invisible. That's annoying. Star, um, so I am I a veteran now? The scimitar has been destroyed, but sensors detected several escape pods entering the vortex. As much as I hate to say it, I do not think we have seen the last of Denatra of Borg. We must remain vigilant. I got a silver star. I'm a special now. Uh. That's pretty cool. I guess it was worth it to come here. It's not a gold star, but it's still a star. That's a kind of a star. It might not be the best kind of a star, but it is a, a kind of a star. No one can say it's not a star. I'll say, well, look at it, it is a star. I guess I can leave now. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad at all. Um, uh, that was probably for the best that it was a space battle, because if it was one of the ground cues, I probably would have been a lot more, a lot more lost. Um, especially those Borg ones, a lot of those involve, like, special mechanics and stuff. It's, like, puzzles and, like, oh, you have to activate this relay and, like, don't stand on this part of the ground at this specific time. And, like, you know, it's, like, mazes and challenges and, like, all kinds of stuff. It's, like, very complicated for my brain to do, and I don't like that. That's not what I like. Um, yeah, I don't like that. So, I guess I'm happy I didn't get a ground battle for that. Because I would have looked like a fool. You know, even more so than I do talking about it. So, they buy the queue, I guess. Um, so now, I just need... Um, what, what do I need? I need... To heal my shields on the ground, so I gotta go on a planet, and I gotta get in some. I gotta get in a big, big, big fight. I gotta get in a big, big fight on the ground, like a big, 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 big fight, a big old big fight. And I'm gonna just like take my away team and like just like just like aggro everything and just like ah let's just like go crazy just go crazy 
and just be ridiculous and just get in a big old big big old fight so that'll get me all the shield healing I could ever want for in life that'll be easy um, other than that I just need to harvest some materials and we're gonna do that right now with the Gecklies with the Gex with the Gek Gek the Gek Gek Gex the Gek Gex the Gek Gex the Gek Gex the Gek Gex the, the, what's that band called? The Gex? The 30... Is, how many Gex are there? The 30... How many Gex are... Is it 31 Gex? 2100 Gex? How many Gex are there? There's a certain amount of Gex. They're a good band, though. I don't remember how many Gex there are, though. But we're gonna help the Gecklies. Um... We're gonna help them out. Because they're real cool. They're real cool guys. They're very special little... They're special little dudes. They're real special little cuties, and we want them to live their best. We want them to live their best little space ravioli lives that they can, and we want to help them thrive and survive because they're real, real special little boys, and we really want to see them be okay. And these real, these real mean beans out here, they get in their mean bean machines and they try and shoot these special boys with their phaser lasers and we don't like it when they do that because that hurts these that hurts these little these little ravioli sweeties and that's not nice so we're gonna we're gonna take care of the baddies and we're not gonna let we're not gonna let them hurt our precious sweeties we're not gonna let them hurt our little precious sweeties no we're not we're gonna deal with these little bastards. No hunting of our space pastors. I don't think so. No sirree. Not in this system. Not for during this 10 minute window that we happen to be here. During the rest of the time, go for it. But right now, during this specific time that I happen to be here and happen to be here on completely unrelated business that has nothing to do with the Gecklies whatsoever that I just happen to be doing while I'm in the area you bet keep your hands off these Gecklies but the rest of the time I'm not gonna be looking so it, it really it won't matter but you know right now I'm on the job um, so I do see the the materials there's some magnesite ore down there and that's really what I came here for don't tell the Gecklies about that, but the Magnesite ore down there is really what we're here for. So, um, at my soonest convenience, I'm going to go and get that. I'm going to go and get that ore. And take it for myself. Summon some fleet support here, this command ship, to help me out with the job. Thank you very much, Optimus Dan, for the hydrate power up. I hope my coffee is still hot. It better, it better be. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a very, this is a very important operation now. This, this is where the stakes get high because my Magnesite's down there. I got, I got my Gecklies over here. I got my Presidio class support here I got my hydrate power up I gotta do I got my coffee that might be hot I got my it might be hot it might not be hot it's one of those cats in a box I don't know if it's dead or alive we could, there's a lot on the line here and I don't know if it's all gonna work out okay uh, my coffee's not hot so I gotta go heat this bitch up and I hope that these Gecklies are gonna be okay if they're not okay I'm gonna cry and the mission's gonna be failed, so... I'm gonna put this phaser beam turret right here. And I hope it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna put my fighters on on escort mode. I'm gonna tell them to stay close. I'm gonna tell them to stick around and keep, keep everyone safe. I'm gonna just hope and pray that everyone stays okay. Those, those guys stay there. Everybody stay safe. Everyone stay okay. I'm just going to the replicator to heat up my coffee. Nobody start shooting. Everybody, everybody just 
Hold your horses there, just for one minute. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Okay, so... Thank you very much, Optimus Dan, for the hydrate power-up. Now, I really want that Magnesite Ore down there. That's what this is all about, so let's go get that. Okay, and then we need the Gex to start moving, so how about the frigates go, go, you go, guys go, make them move. And I'll try and turn this ship around. Control. Ugh, I can barely fly. Also, this. The music is just killing me. This, it's killing my soul. So let's just, like, fix that before I, like. I don't even want to say. I don't even want to say what I'll do. So let, let's just fix it. Okay, everything seems to be under control. Our little get gex are on the way. They're moving down their path towards their destination. We got our Magnesite Ore. I still need five more materials, though. There's some more. Some more up ahead. But that still means, like, even if I get two in here, it's gonna be frickin' uh, three patrols. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna make me fight everything, of course. Let's go fight!
this? That plus two pitch mission. I should just re- I don't want to do three patrols. I don't want to do three space patrols. I should just re-roll this mission. I should get out while I'm ahead. I should just save the Gekleys and re-roll the mission and cut my losses. I don't want to do three space patrols. But what a... Oh my god. I'm just thinking about my fate. I don't want to do three space patrols. God damn. I could like re-roll it and get like kill 60 arthropods and like go around shotgun blasting and having a great time. You know, I could get something like really fun. You know, who knows what 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 wonderful task I could get instead instead of like this tediousness. Or I could get stuck with something way crappier. Who knows? Who knows really? It's always a gamble. I mean, sometimes the mission is to gamble. Sometimes it's like go play Dabo and win some gold, gold plus, gold, gold, gold press platinum. I can barely say it. I actually like it when the mission's that. That's always fun. Are you guys still refusing to move? You want me to take out these guys too? I'll kill all the hunters in the world for y'all. At least in the system. to give them a nudge. Since it'll take me so long to get turned around. Are they s- Y'all are still gonna refuse to move? No way, you're not gonna sit there still. I killed everything, there's no way. No way. You're not gonna sit there. You've- You- you! You little bastards! You are not gonna sit there! No! You little, little, little pasta ravioli fuckers are not gonna sit there! Oh no, you are not! I, after all the work I did for you, you're not gonna just sit there! What the hell? You little shits! What the hell's this crap? Come on! What's wrong with y'all? Move! I'm gonna bump bump into you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. What the hell? It's not doing anything. Why are you broken? What? That shit ain't logical. What's happening? There's no incoming ships. I've killed everything. I killed everybody for you. I murdered everyone. Okay, okay. So there's those guys off in the distance now? 
Let's go kill those guys in the distance. Maybe that'll do the trick. Let's go get them. But if this doesn't do it... This doesn't do it. I'm leaving these guys behind. Without it, I'm not gonna look back. I'm just gonna leave them there in the middle of the road. I'm just gonna get my my crafting materials and I'm gonna just warp out of here. I don't even care anymore. Hey there, uh, the Celebers. <laughs> nice name. How's it going? Thanks for coming by. How you doing? Okay, that's, that's, that's officially the last of the enemies. I'm just gonna go get my Magnesite Ore first of all, so that I've gotten everything that I came here for before I go and check on the Gekleys one last time. So that way I can just warp the fuck out of here if it doesn't work out. Like I said, I'm not wasting any more time on them if they're not gonna cooperate. Sorry to be so passive-aggressive or aggressive-aggressive. But uh, I'm out. I'm out of patience with these guys. They're they're giving me a hard time here. Okay, where are they at? Okay, will you move now? Oh my God. Tokyo Drift. Let's go. Are you guys please going to move now? Please. Every hunter in the entire system has been blown to bits. Ah, thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Glad to hear you're doing good, set of verse. Does this does this name mean that you are a fan of the metaverse? Or it uh or is it ironic or can you tell me more about about that? I'm I'm curious if you can indulge me on that. I'm glad these guys- I'm so happy these guys are finally moving. I- I- I really didn't want to leave them behind. I was- Well- oh. <laughs> This is such a roller coaster of emotions. Come on guys, let's go! You can do it! You got this! Okay, off you go into the into the great beyond. Take those rewards, and I will get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. I need a joint after that. I don't know why, but that's <laughs> that stressed me out. Just with their refusal to move and the complications, and I don't know. And I'm, I'm going to re-roll that mission as well. I want something a little more action-packed. I don't care. 
See, this is way better. Way better. Defeat Tholians. Defeat 60 Tholians. So, like, what I get to do is I get to go to Nukara. I get to beam down. I get to get a shotgun. <laughs> I get to get a shotgun. And I get to shoot 60 Tholians. So, it's like going around on the planet. Action-packed. Going around corners. Close-range combat. And it's like, it's going to be... A lot of fun like that's that's a really fun mission I'm gonna have a literal blast doing that that's way more fun than like going through like tedious patrol mission after patrol mission scavenging for space crafting materials like oh my god that's just like sucks the life out of me like I'd much rather have this like action-packed like you know, Doom style shooter mission. I don't know. That's just more my my speed, I guess. Um, and thank you so much, uh, Setiverse. I really appreciate that. Um, that's really sweet of you to say. I'm um, I'm glad that I'm in a place right now where where um where people can are more likely to recognize them. Uh, you know, in my in my normal life, like nobody knows nobody knows that they're trail markings. <laughs> Uh, like, no one has any clue what they are, and I hear, like, the most ridiculous interpretations of what they could possibly be, so it's nice to, to meet someone who knows, knows what the reference is. <laughs> Refreshing. Um, so, I got two missions where I got to, uh, go and, and shoot stuff. I really want to go to, uh, I really, really, really want to go to Nimbus for the shield healing one, just because I know I could do them both on Nukara, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, don't don't know what to say other than that. Um, so where should I go first? Nimbus, I think. Unless... Unless I go to, uh... The, uh... The Dyson Sphere Battle Zone. That could be... That could be just fine. I'm gonna go to the Dyson Sphere Battle Zone for the shield healing. Because you can bring an away team for that, and having multiple team members will make uh, the shield healing go faster and on Nukara it's just you you're not allowed to bring anybody so to the Dyson Sphere and I'm going to uh, have a little I know there's no 420 power up in the chat but I'm gonna I'm gonna light up anyway because that's my prerogative, damn it. And I'm gonna do it. Not a, we overshot it. Oh boy. Okay, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Yeah, yeah, it's a tattoo. Take me to the battle zone. Take me to the battle zone. I want to bring, um, I want to bring Lita, and I want to bring my first officer, Sophie. Y'alls are coming with me. It's a very tactical team. All three of us are tactical officers. We're very, we're very, we're very military girls. Alrighty. 
everyone beam down okay? Um, oh yeah, so shield healing is the name of the game. And... That means we need to incur some damage. So just, um... As a note, I'm not going to attempt to fight effectively. In case I, uh... Look pretty incompetent? Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm... Gonna be pretty incompetent. I wanna get damaged real good. Now let's see where the action's at. Are my are my people with me? Yeah, good. Let's go. Let's find some trouble and get into it. Ah, oh, here's some trouble. Oh, I think I might have overlooked an important point. I don't... Oh, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. It'll be fine. I think. We'll, we'll just see how the tracker fills up. We're at 202 shield healing so far. 400. Okay, it's, it's filling up at a decent enough speed so far. I had some, uh, some, like, what are they called? Some power cells. Some shield charges. I mean. That would kind of expedite things a little bit. Whoa, Sophie, are you okay? Where are you at? Sophie, you're go- <gasps> You got knocked the fuck out! Sophie! You're alright. You're gonna be okay. Get back in there. Don't let these dinosaurs beat you up. They're just dinosaur bitches. Don't worry about them. We're not gonna tell. We're not gonna tell the ship the crew about this. We're gonna to keep this off the records. We're not gonna tell them the dinosaurs beat us up. They don't need to know about this. Hey there, Swiftie. How's it going? Thanks for coming by. Well, Sophie got knocked out again. I feel bad for her. She's having a rough time today. She's gonna get a concussion if she keeps this up.
Whoa, a Mechazord. Oh man, Sophie's knocked out again. This is becoming a thing. Sophie, this can't keep happening, girl. We can't keep doing this. This is a, a recurrent medical issue. Uh-oh, I'm gonna join you, actually. I, I got you, though. I got her back in the game, but I got knocked out now, too. Aw, oh, but she got knocked out again immediately after. Lita, can you help me out here? Thanks. Oh, but then she got knocked out. Don't worry, but then I'll get you. Where are you, though? She got disappeared. Oh, because she's a hologram, so she just got turned into, like, her components. That's fun. I like that. Ever all of us are getting knocked out. We are, like, the... We are, like, the worst away team. We are literally, like, the worst away team there's ever been. It's like we're all taking turns getting, like, knocked the fuck out. And we're just, like, rotating on that. This is, like, kind of pretty bad, actually. We're gonna keep this off the records for sure. Like, we're not telling Starfleet about this. We're not telling the rest of the crew about this. We are not telling anybody about this. Nobody's gonna know. But hey, at least we killed the Mechazord. It's gonna die now. The Mechazord's dead. It doesn't look like it's dead, but trust me, it's dead. It just looks... it just... See? It just disappears. It's not even... Just, that's how it looks when it dies. Um... Glad you're doing all right, Swifty B. I'm doing pretty good over here. Oh, Sophie! Oh, the dank, the dank dinosaur. She got knocked out by a dank dinosaur. This is humiliating for us. This is absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh. I thought we were better than this. I don't know. This doesn't usually happen when we beam down here. Usually we feel like badasses when we come down here. But this isn't usually the away team composition I bring either. We don't usually go with all three of us tactical officers. So maybe that was a bad choice. Usually we would have a medical officer and an engineer with us. I don't know. Maybe the team composition really makes a difference. I'm not sure. Sophie's down again! This is insane! This is insane! It's literally every 10 seconds with her. Is she okay? Is she- and again, I just- like... Her brain is not gonna be okay after this. I'm really worried for her mental health now. I'm scared for her, honestly. I don't know if she would... Like, is she gonna be okay to be my first officer after this? I don't... I don't know. I'm skeptical, but... What has happened with... Well, she's knocked out again! Sophie, what's wrong? I don't understand. This has never happened. I just don't even know what to say about it. Probably only gonna be 10 seconds before she's literally on the ground again. Look, see? There she goes. 
There she goes. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Have a good night, Zediverse. Thanks for coming by. And now we got another e a Mecho Zord to fight. Okay, something is actually wrong with her. This is not correct. I don't know if something, like, actually is a problem. This is insane. Oh my gosh. For some reason, her shields are darkened. Maybe that means they're not working. Maybe that means there's something wrong with her shields. That would explain a lot. If her shields weren't working, that would explain why she'd be dying so much. But then why would her shields not be working? I couldn't, I can't explain that one. But something's definitely wrong with her. Something's wrong and I have to figure it out because Okay, so her shields seem to be working, because I see the blue bar is loaded, she has 348 shield strength. But they are... They are... Darkened. And like, Lita's are not. Hers is glowing. Sophie's is dark. So that is weird. Something strange is going on. I'm gonna have to investigate that after this battle's over. We'll, we'll get her up to the ship and we'll check out her gear, we'll inspect it, we'll see if maybe someone sabotaged it or something. Maybe, maybe there's foul play going on. Maybe it's just faulty equipment. <laughs> uh, Swift DB, you're just saying because because uh, the hologram's superior to a uh, medium bone, <laughs> and Sophie's just taking all the hits. But Sophie's come on like Sophie's one of my primary people I take on missions, and she performs way better than this. Sophie's like my main pick, and she does way 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 better than this always. I've never on any mission on advanced mode that I've ever taken on with her. I've never seen her perform this poorly, ever, ever, never, never, ever, never, never, ever, ever, never, 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 ever, never, 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 So, something is definitely wrong, and I want to get to the bottom of it! I mean, unless it's just a bad luck kind of day. I don't know. It could just be a bad luck for Sophie kind of day. Well, we captured the point. That's what matters. What if I... I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna. What if I try, uh, Whatever. Let's get out of here. We're we're done here. What? Uh, are you guys getting in a fight? Yeah, you guys are getting in a fight. Okay. You guys take care of it. I'll just stand here. I'll just stand here and look cool. Well. Do your little shooting. Where are you going now? Do we have to shoot everything? Okay. We're good. 
Oh, and we got our rewards. And what we were here to do, all we were here to do was shield healing, so... Uh, and we're nowhere close to, like, the zone being gone, so there's no point in, like, sticking around for the, for the bosses or anything. It's gonna be quite a while before that happens, so... I'm not gonna... Not gonna stay on the planet for, for that event. Hmm. What? I don't... Let's see what kind of, uh, shields she has. Oh. Uh, she just has, like, whatever. I... She just has, like, whatever. Nothing... She doesn't have anything good. I should actually probably give her something good at some point. She just, like... This is, like, reduces Polaron damage. Um... So I, I should probably give her some something better at some point. Uh, Ton. Okay, so that's it for the Dyson Sphere. Now I need to get my ass down to Nukara. And Shotgun Blast 60 billions. Which I'm quite looking forward to, to be honest. What's what's a what's a good way to get um, decent gear for for your your bridge officers? Um, is it would it be like the reputation reward system or um, or what? Because the the market can be prohibitively expensive. The crafting system can not produce high enough to your results or whatever. Having to upgrade everything can be so expensive. Up until now, my standard has just been like, at least make sure everything that I'm giving them is tier 12 at least at least tier 12 and at least uh rare sorry at least purple quality which is what um very rare the first purple is um yeah very at least very rare quality at least tier 12 that's the minimum standard and then and then if i can get it to be ultra rare and tier 13 then that's even better and if i can get it to be ultra rare in tier 14 or whatever then that's even better but you know the, uh, the minimum standard uh at least that's what i've established so far i haven't gotten to the point where i can be picky about what stats or uh you know where it's from or anything like that.
Okay, okay. Good to know that you uh, would recommend the reputation system. Because I, I have spent a lot of time leveling up my, my reputation uh, with all of those factions. Uh, you know, um, I have almost all of them at least at, at tier 5. Um, and I've got a lot of those uh, Dilithium vouchers uh, stocked up as well, so... It wouldn't be a wouldn't be a bad idea for me to take advantage of that, I suppose. Oh, here we are at, at Nukara. Just the place where I wanted to be. Most good stuff are at Discovery Reputation. Okay, good to know. Thanks for the tip. Shotgun. And I want to go shooter mode, even though I'm going to be less efficient at using all of my abilities. I just want to have a, a fun arcade mode time. Oh, you don't get to use... You can't use the Targ here. You can't use a lot of things here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's too many. Leave me alone. Maybe I underestimated these Solians a little. I got underestimated them a bit. A little bit. Be free. They're like, what about all these shotgun? What about all these shotgun pellets stuck in me? Don't worry about it. You're free.
Okay, that's 23 out of 60. Holy shit. They got more of a bite than I thought they did. Oh shit, there's a lot of them actually. Oh my gosh. Skittery bastards. Yeah. Oh shit. Ah, I don't like that sound. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Don't make that sound. Be free. Oh, I should ask, are you okay? Are you okay? teammates here, that's good. Ah! Oh nice, one shot. What's going on here? What the fuck? Someone in a onesie slicing them up with a knife? And now like an insanely oversized blaster? That's the weirdest thing I've seen today. I'm just gonna walk away.
That's a lot of senseless killing. Oh my gosh. Ah. Please. Please, I'm trying to decompress here. I was coming here to hide out. Oh man. No worries, Sw no worries, uh, Swift TV. Hey there, Mad Dog Mikey. It's going good tonight. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Okay, I need to get out of here. War is hell, man. We need to get back to the extraction point. COVID. That's one of the most terrible things you can hear these days. I'm sorry to hear you that. I hope you feel better. I think I made a wrong turn somewhere. I think I really made a wrong turn somewhere. I could have sworn the transporter was here somewhere. Oh shit. Oh man. I could have sworn the extraction point was around here somewhere, man. Oh god. Be free! Be free! Be free! Be free! There we are. We made it back to base camp. Ah, uh, so you are you are having some improvements. That's good at least. How long in total have you been like suffering? You know, if I can ask, and you don't have to talk about it if you're not comfortable, of course. I'm gonna take my rewards for having killed all of those Tholians. In total, that was probably close to a hundred when all was said and done. And we will beam the hell out of here. Dang, okay. Three weeks. I hope you've been at least able to like rest and take it easy and, and kind of uh, spend some time on, on recovery and stuff uh, during then. Although I know the world can be a little unforgiving when it comes to those things.
just need to reorient myself now. So I've got all of my endeavors done for the- Oh, I'm so close- I was so close to getting another perk point, but not quite. That's too bad. Tomorrow, I guess. So... The next thing that I need to do is to decide on where I want to uh, dip into the the older episodes, the older story missions. Um, and I was thinking, I'm, I haven't... Oh, I just, my game just froze up a little? Uh, I haven't I haven't married the idea, but I was thinking of going all the way back to the very first one uh, Back to the Klingon war and just like starting from the very 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 beginning um, And then going from there I don't know if that's a bad idea because I don't know what that's like uh, Maybe it's stupid. I'm not sure um, But you know, I, I thought because it's been so long, it might be, it might be fun for me to to revisit all of the old content kind of in in order like that, and that could keep me busy for a very long time and like help me see a lot of content of the game that I haven't seen that you know since it came out. Um, so I don't know. That that's that's the that's the idea that I've got in my head so far. Uh, Mad Dog Mikey, yes, uh, like, the day before yesterday or something like that, I, I finished the last, uh, Terran mission, and, uh, Wesley Crusher yelled at me, uh, I didn't like that very much, but, yeah, I, I, I finished that, um, and, uh, yeah, I really, really, really liked the, uh, Terran Gambit, uh, story arc, um, that, that was like a, so much fun like every time they they make new episodes for the game they're just better and better and better and better oh like i can't say enough good things this game is always getting so much better i'm i'm in love with that part that that fact about this game um yeah really it, it's it's I agree with your excitement of of everything to come, uh, and it kind of makes me feel like oh, I wish I wish I had quit the game for longer because now I'm like oh, I don't want to wait for more. I want there to be more now to play, uh, you know? Because now the like oh, now I gotta sit on my hands waiting for more content. I I just. I want a whole, I want a big bank of, I want a bank of content to be able to play through now. It's like, I, it was so fast to, just to burn through all that. Like, I need like 10 Terran Gambits worth of content. And that'll last like a couple weeks at the most. Like, you gotta pump it out faster than that. We need more. We need more! We need more! But... I don't know. More, more, more. Um... So yeah, I'm looking at diplomatic orders, and it says a simple mission to escort a diplomat to a Vulcan world brings your crew into conflict with the Klingons. Okay. Now that could be really, really... I don't know how old this is. This could be really, really, really stupid. Or it could be fun, and I don't really know if I'm going to be making a huge mistake by getting myself into this, or if it's going to be a reasonable decision. And, 
you know, it's a, it's a really a gamble. Uh, I have no memory of this. Absolutely zero. Um, but I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin the wheel and play and, and find, find out. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. <laughs> okay. That sounds... That sounds really straightforward. Said escort the Klingon or escort the Vulcan ambassador. Just make sure that he gets there safely. This sounds easy. No problem. You need a big carrier? You need a big gigantic Jupiter class carrier to escort one little Vulcan ambassador? This is gonna be a cakewalk. Done, you've done those early missions tons of times because of all your, your alts. That makes sense. That makes sense. I haven't uh, I haven't leveled an alt in this game in in a good number of years, probably since at least like 2017. Uh, so, and I have really bad memory on top of that. So any memories of of leveling up tunes from like. 2017 or prior are basically non-existent in my brain um and so i don't really know uh maybe maybe this will trigger some memories for me and, and i'll be like oh it's that one and like it'll all come back to me so i don't really know uh what uh, maybe that'll happen or maybe it'll be completely unfamiliar i'm not really sure i mean surely i've i've probably done these multiple times before on on different characters captain we've arrived at the vulcan system i took the liberty of contacting the ambassador's aide when we arrived the palace says that the ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefer prefers when traveling. She would like to go over them with you. Would l you like me to put her on the main view screen? Absolutely. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Kal Rek holiday. He will be done soon, but the ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. That shit ain't logical. Okay. Okay. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Okie dokie.
We're ready to land on Vulcan, sir. When you're ready to make our final approach, let me know. Okay. It's not often we fly a shuttlecraft. But for a Vulcan ambassador, nothing's off the table. Starfleet shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan orbital control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Let's hotbox the shuttle. Captain, the ambassador and his aide are waiting for you at the temple at the top of the rise. You can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart for Pajem. Speak to Ambassador Sokev. Okie dokie. Oh, nice little shuttle we got here. Oh, it's, got, it's pretty worn down, actually. Jesus. We gotta get the we gotta get the lower decks crew to to fucking scrub down this bitch. Jesus Christ, who's been maintaining this fucking thing? They didn't need to scrub this with a fa with a phaser on the right setting, of course. But damn, look at this. This this is I'm gonna have a word with them about this. This is some grubby shit on here. I'm not a fan. We're, we're gonna resolve this. Anyway. Anyway. The Vulcans kind of design their shit a little dramatic for people without emotions. These big, these big pillars with the big, big, uh, big flame bowls. I don't know what you call those, but it's very dramatic and the big the big rise the big pillars of stone it's all very dramatic at least you get your exercise i wish i could i wish i could run up this in real life i wish i was really there i would love to run up this hill The climate seems like it would be nice and hot. Well, I actually, I hear Vulcan is too hot. It's like pretty inhospitable to humans. It's too hot. Let's talk to the, uh, to the ambassador's aid first and just make sure that if there's anything the ambassador needs. Uh, she says, welcome to Vulcan. Captain, I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Pajem is sacred to the Vulcan people, and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Sokev permissions to meet with the abbot at Pajem. This is most abnormal. Um, can this trip wait until, uh, Savin changes his mind? The Ambassador has considered going to the Council to request that they overrule Savin, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the Ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Pajem now, he will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corridan is complete. And that could take weeks. Hmm. I wonder why Seven won't grant the Ambassador permission. The Ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off-world. I have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years. But our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you mm. might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Ambassador's request. Well, let me speak to Savin then. I, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm gonna go speak to the guy. I'm gonna go have a word with him. 
We'll, we'll see what we'll see what Seven has to say for himself. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? No, actually, I want to talk about the fact that Sarkath says you won't permit him to visit Pajam. Sarkath accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajam. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than Gosh. any place else in the galaxy. My flashlight. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you Hi. seek knowledge of the ancestors? Okay, okay, okay. Um... Okay, um... Is there any way that I can persuade you to allow Soketh to visit Pajem? I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Oh. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. He's awfully trusting. That's, this, is, this is awfully easy. All I have to say is I super, super promise Starfleet will keep him safe. I swear, I swear on my combat, we're going to do a really good job. Nothing bad's going to happen, I promise. And that's it. Awesome. This is way easy. We got Welcome the green light. To Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Um, I've spoken to Savin. We can leave P for Pajem now. Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. How fast can you run, old man? You can run really fast. Can you run really fast? Nah, nah. You can run medium fast. That's cool. That's cool. That's okay. We don't need to run really, really fast. You wanna, you wanna meet my dog? This is my dog. I brought my dog. Anyways. That's my shuttle over there. Don't walk on my dog, please. Don't... Don't step on my dog, please, when we're running. That's kind of rude. Don't... When you're running, don't run on my dog. I don't like that. Not very nice. Yeah, that's better. Alright, don't mind all those scuff marks. We're go I we're gonna talk to the crew about this. We're gonna we're gonna get all this cleaned up. It's I know how it looks. We're gonna get it cleaned up. Starfleet shuttle craft. It's clean on that side. Clean on this side. We just didn't clean the front. The front needs to get scrubbed. They missed us side. The insides are nice and clean. It's just one side they forgot. That's really it. It's not a huge problem. We'll give them a warning. Anyway. Uh, 
Ambassador Soketh has retired to his quarters, Captain. We can leave the system whenever you like. So the ambassador is securely on board. He's safe and sound. We're warping the hell out of here. Your inventory has a replicator that will allow you to buy and sell items. Press I to open your inventory. Why is the computer lady talking to me? Click on replicator to access your store. Oh, I know how to use the replicator. You can purchase common items from the replicator. You can sell items by using recycle and retrieve sold items with retrieve. I know. Why are you telling me that? Oh, because I'm doing this mission, so I must be a dumbass, basically. Yeah, that checks out. That does check out. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so, I gotta take the ambassador to the Pajem system. Alright, let's go to the Pajem system. Wait, 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 Okay, okay, well, we're at the Pajem. We're at Pajem. We're at, we're at Pajem. Uh, we didn't, we gotta put on, we should put on our pajamas. We should get on our pajamas. Cause we're at pajam, we're at pajam. We're at pajam. So get your pajam, get your pajamas. Get your pa Get your pajamas. Never mind. I'm just gonna deliver the ambassador. And I hope he doesn't die because we swore to the high priest that will keep him safe. So definitely, I hope he doesn't die. We're gonna try really, 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 really hard to let him not die. God, I hope he... I hope he's gonna be okay. Hey there, Kilroy. Thanks for coming by. How's it going tonight? How you doing? How are ya? Sir, I'm picking up an unusual energy reading in the system. We should scan the system before we take the ambassador to the surface. Um, okie dokie, let's put sensors to maximum. Scan the area and see what this is all about. Klingon ships decloaking? Oh no, Klingers! This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. <gasps> there will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Not our warp drive. They're gonna make our zoom zoom go boom boom. by the Klingons. Cease your fire, Captain! Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains huh. were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. Shapeshifter? Have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Um, shapeshifter? So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. What? They are an Undine. You expect me to believe they put that on a shit? False face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. Right. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs dies screaming. An Undine? Do you have any proof of that? Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. Um, I'll take that into consideration. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. 
So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close Haley frequencies. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I've got my intelligence officer, Krista, on the line here. She says, um, she says, Captain, sensor scans indicate the Klingon vessel's warp drive, shields, and weapon systems are all offline. I don't even think they have impulse power. Whatever you decide to do, they can't really do much about it. Um... Okay, let's let's discuss the Undine with uh with this with science. Okay, I've got I've got um my science officer here. He says The Undine are a species that was first encountered by the crew of the USS Voyager. They catalog them as species eight four seven two. As the Klingon commander indicated, they are indeed capable of changing shape. Additionally, they possess telepathic abilities that aid them in inf infiltrating the cultures of other species. Hmm. So that means Ambassador Soketh technically could be one of them. I'm afraid that is a conclusion that we cannot rule out, Captain. I could conduct a test to determine if the Ambassador is who he claims to be. Hmm. That could be pretty, uh, that could be pretty intrusive to the ambassador, and it would kind of violate his ambassadorial immunity, though. Mm, let's see what, let's see what engineering has to say about this. Uh, the Undine come from a dimension known as fluidic space. They use quantum singularities to move into ours. I'm afraid much of their technology still remains a mystery to us, but one thing is certain, it is not to be underestimated. So then why use a Starfleet vessel? That I can't say, Captain, but as the Undine are virtually unknown in the Beta Quadrant, my guess is that they're aiming to conceal their presence here. And the Klingons? What the Klingons are saying could be true, Captain. If the Undine are in the Beta Quadrant, it might be that the Klingons sniffed them out before us. In this case, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, so the last thing is to get the tactical pers uh, perspective on this. This is becoming a lot. Uh... The Undine are physically superior to humans and consider anyone from our dimension to be an inferior life form. Their vessels are more than a match for the Borg. They represent a great threat to Starfleet. Alright, where is Ambassador Soketh now? The Ambassador is still in his quarters. Sir, I recommend sending a security detail to detain the Ambassador until we're certain of his identity. Okay, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's call the ambassador to the bridge and open a channel to the Klingon vessel and settle this. My patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Very generous, but completely unnecessary. Then the beast is slain? Maka! Very good! Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead! I present to you Ambassador Soketh. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Accused, meet your accuser. Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! Not without proof, Captain. You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, <laughs> LOL, see Kilroy. It, like it truly is a grint hound in Tark's clothing. Ambassador, allow me to explain. 
There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. Meritless, but not unreasonable. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Thus a reasonable consideration. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault. Status of the Klingon vessel? Weapons inoperable. Warp drive still offline. Wait, I'm detecting an energy surge. They're engaging their cloaking device. A true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. They're gone. Uh, there's transporter signals on the planet. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. Away team to transporter room one. Uh... Okay, we got a glitch here, and it's it was repeating the same dialogue. So we're sending an away team down to the area of the monastery. We're gonna try and find these clingers. So we'll we'll bring. Why don't we bring everyone that we talk to? Basically, we'll bring Sophie. We'll bring Tavera, and we'll even bring Krista. We'll we'll bring uh, who else? We'll bring Lita. Why not? We'll take Lita on a mission. Sounds good. <laughs> Bye, Drama Queen. Agreed. Somehow, I think we haven't seen the last of him. He'll be back. Captain, we need to secure the area and then make our way towards the monastery, which is located at the top of the hill. I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, sir. I recommend we proceed with caution. All right. Here's our little team. Oh, we're all ladies. I didn't realize that. Huh. I guess that I should have had more diversity on the team. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doodles. Well, maybe next time. Oh, this is a pretty place. Oh. Oh, you're not... Oh, oh, yeah. You're a problem. What do you see? It's a beautiful planet. What a lovely, lovely place.
What's that? More loot. I think I need a little more music than that. Oh, there's a big group up there. Oh wait, there's a big group here too. Alright, half of them were just Balkan monks that were being held hostage. One of them's dead. Can I revive you? No, it's too late for you. Oh, Sophie! Again! Okay. You're gonna be fine. Everyone gets knocked the fuck out sometimes. You get knocked down, you get back up again. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This the place. Sir, we're receiving an alert from Vulcan. Capella says she must speak with you immediately. I'll patch her through to your tricorder. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. Oh no. The Ambassador on your ship the one that I have been working for is an imposter. Oh no! He was an imposter all along! You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Sokes' closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Captain, security teams have reached Ambassador Sokath's quarters, but he's gone. They're searching the ship, but their unauthorized use of the transporters has been detected. The Vulcan government is requesting that the imposter Sokath be detained and returned to Vulcan for questioning. Whoever used the transporter erased the logs, but I have a feeling that the imposter is on the planet's surface. I recommend we locate him immediately. Locate and detain Ambassador Sokath. Oh boy. Oh boy. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak uh. shall perish. Mm. No. I don't like this. Oh god. Icky gross. Grenade.
Val, you got... Return to your ship and find the Undine vessel. vessel. Okay. There's an Undine ship on an intercept course. The Stonewall doesn't have the armaments to handle the, an Undine attack. Starfleet reports that it is sending ships to assist us, but they are about 60 seconds out. We have to hold out until the reinforcements get here. If we target their torpedoes, we might have a chance. Okay. Why am I scanning Magnesite Ore? That's the stupidest thing I could be doing right now. But okay. Ah! Kill those torpedoes! Don't let me get hit with torpedoes! Don't let me get hit. I'm scared of it after they said that stuff. I could take it. I could take this shit on my own. Give me five minutes, I could kill it. But the reinforcements are here. I think. Yeah, they're here. Did I move out of range? Yeah, I think I did. Downloading the data. Incoming message from the USS Challenger. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. Forge out. We've recovered the final data transmissions from the Undine vessel, as well as samples of the organic material that was used to create the ship. We need to get all of this back to Starfleet Intelligence. They may be able to decrypt the messages and tell us more. Depart system. Okay. So we've got an Undine infiltration problem going on, apparently. That's, that's big bad news. A lot the more than a... was an Undine? <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's kind of a big problem. This was supposed to be just a simple escort mission of taking an ambassador somewhere, and it turned out to be a big, big old problem. Give me some loot.
Give me some loot. Triple carcass. Well, that's nice. That turned out to be a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I'm glad it wasn't a mistake. So, um... That kind of solidified the new plan. Uh, the new plan... Uh... Now is going to be... And this is going to inform future... Star Trek Online streams. It's going to be to play through... The all... You know, I mean, obviously, I'm still gonna fuck around in space all the time, a lot, and just, like, do whatever I feel like doing, but, like, when I'm doing missions, when I, when I do do missions, I am gonna just play through them, uh, starting with, with the Klingon War, and, like, go through that, and then Romulan Mystery, Cardassian Struggle, Borg Advance, New York, you know, like, just, like, get through them, and experience all that old content, that'll keep me busy forever. Uh, for a long ass time, for a long ass time, um, and then as a result, I'll have, I'll have YouTube videos of every story arc in Star Trek Online at the end of it, and that'll, that'll be good for me. Uh, so you know, I, I would like to do that. Um, tentative plan, check. Um, it's too bad I can't replay Welcome to Earth Space Dock. That would have been really condescending, I'm sure. Uh, that was so that it felt bad enough when the um, when the computer lady started talking to me. It was like, open up your inventory. There's a replicator button that'll allow you to buy and sell. And it was trying to teach me how to use the UI. Oh my gosh! They just snuck that into the middle of the mission. That was the most random thing. I don't know if I can continue to expect that tucked away in, in the missions or what, but that was, uh, yeah, that was a surprise. So where are we, where are we at right now? I'm just going to check in with things a little bit. Okay. Take me to... Yeah. Take me to soul system. That seems like the place... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, that was stupid. I'm there already, basically. I'm right beside... Ugh. I wasn't paying attention to where I was. That was so unnecessary. Ugh. It's like taking the bus to go like two bus stops down the street when you could have like walk there in five minutes. It was, it's just silly. Silly, silly. The loading screen is like longer time than the time it would have taken to fly there. Oh man. Whoa. So this is about the time in the stream where I mention a little old website that I heard about. And I heard about the website because I made it. And it's called Niara.net. It's spelled N-E-A-U-R-A dot -E net. And it's a place where I've got all of my links to all of the different things that I'm getting up to on the internet and that's like links to all of my different social medias like you know twitter and facebook and insta and tumblr and all that stuff as well as um the discord server which you probably see on the twitch ui or on your youtube screen if you're watching this as a vod um called Nighthaven Enclave. It's about a 400 strong little community of gamers and geeks and friendly little people from all over the world 
Um, so if that sounds like a fun thing that you'd like to be a part of, then we welcome you to... Oh, the water is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We welcome you to join us there. It's open to everybody. And again, the place for all of that stuff and more um, is Nyara.net. And uh, it's even got, you know, some some access to my my spicy content. I still have a way to to get get y'all connected with that if so, that's something that you're interested in. Um, but it's not as easy as it used to be. Um, and you know some other stuff too. There's a little, basically everything I do is linked to from there in one way or another. Um, I probably shouldn't be playing in the water the water features. Isn't there like an announcement over the PA system that specifically says like don't be playing in don't go chasing waterfalls or something? It's like don't be playing in the water fountain. It says something like that, I think. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do it. Oh well. Hey, this person's in the same guild. That person's in the same guild as me. That's cool. Too bad the guild has never recognized that I exist ever. And they never, they don't even know my name. They don't know who I am. They don't ever said hi to me. So, I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. I was getting emo for a second. I'll, I'll try not to do that. There. Ugh, so many tribbles. I even have a cannibal. I even have a cannibal tribble in my bag to get rid of all of these unwanted tribbles. But my cannibal tribble just can't keep up with the demand. There's such a high demand for for his services um, that he just can't keep up with it. I'm gonna need multiple cannibal tribbles to keep up. Uh, uh, Mad Dog Mikey, you're confirming there is indeed a audio announcement to say don't play it, don't play in the in the water. That's <laughs> I thought there was. I thought I remember hearing something like that. Good to know that it's true. But I couldn't resist. The water is so beautiful. It looks so nice. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. How could you not want to play in it? Just go splish splashing around in there. Um, actually, the one thing I would really like to see, though, I just thought of it just now. Um, I don't know which one it is. It's one of these. But I'd really like to see those. I want to see those fishies splashing around in there. Because I think that would be really cool. I want to see those little fishes go splashing around in the water. That might look nice. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Go splashing. Uh, they don't interact with the water. It doesn't recognize them as an object, so they're not generating any water effects. That's a disappointment. That's a, that's a real disappointment. I, I had a really high expectations. And it was actually kind of a big letdown. So that's, that's too bad. Yeah, no, no physics. No physics. No physics. Oh well. You can't, you can't always win. You can't... You can't have everything you... What the fuck just keeps happening? You can't have everything you want in life. You can, you can have a lot of things, but you can't have everything. Let me just get tabbed over here. So, I mentioned Niara.net, mentioned what, what the plan for, for future streams is going to be. 
That's gonna be basically... Well, uh, don't mind me as I'm tucking this cord into the back of my chair. It's not as suspicious as it looks. Um, that's gonna be it for me for today. And uh, I thank you. I thank you so much for coming by. I hope I'll see you next time. If you're watching live, um, then I would love it for you to check out my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, follow. I love it if you do that. Uh, appreciate the support. I try to. I try to follow. I try to follow back on 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 Twitch when when I can. Uh, when when you're chatting live, um, I always try to try to follow back people. Um, I like to do that, uh, especially if you're chatting. Um, and uh, and and yeah, all of all of these are always available as videos on on YouTube after the fact. Um, and I'll see you guys see you guys next time. Thank you so much, uh, Mad Dog Mikey, for for hanging out and and everyone else uh, who came before you and kept me company. You guys make make the difference and make it a, a real real fun time for me. Uh, give me that that social that social stimulation that I I really really appreciate. Uh, you have a great night as well, Mad Dog Mikey. Take care for now. <laughs>